I want you to think on this card. I'm reading your mind. Ace of diamonds. Jack of hearts. Damn it. Are you wearing makeup? No. Is it because you're a magician? Illusionist. Queen of spades. Three of diamonds. Damn it. Two of clubs. Six of hearts. Damn! Well, I was closer. No. Okay, for this trick to work, you're going to have to concentrate on the card. Yeah, that's the problem. Concentrate. I am. Are you breathing? He's pushing really hard. You're gonna get herpes. Hernia. I didn't mean hernia. Hemorrhoids? I did mean hemorrhoids. But he's not pooping. Hemorrhoids aren't exclusive to the butthole. Gross, and yes they are. Dude, you're gonna pop a blood vessel. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Yes! Don't overreact. Oh my god. Everybody stay calm. You're dying. What? No, I'm good, bro. Jeez. I literally said it was Dude. gonna pop. And then it pops! I think we need to call someone. Why is there blood in my mouth? I am definitely calling someone. Stitches get snitches. It snitches get stitches. Damn right. King of clubs. Ta-da. <laughs> I'm gonna go and take a nap. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes Mr. Adam, the effects techniques, including some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and continuing our series of practical and visual effects, marrying together to make some fun goodness, we did this. Uh-oh. Which you saw already, so there was no real reason to play it again. Uh-oh. And like I said, pulling this one off was a mixture of practical and digital. First, of course, the practical while shooting. For this, I grabbed the large plastic syringe and tubing off of Amazon for $10, which I then took the tubing and sealed one end by putting some glue in the bottom and letting it dry. Then I cut a small hole in the tubing where I wanted the blood to shoot out from. Next, we ran the tubing up, then around the top of Justin's head down to his forehead. We clipped the tube to the back of his shirt and then used a hair clip to help keep it on top of his head. And then I had Justin put on a beanie on top of all of that to keep everything nicely in place. After that, I grabbed some double-sided tape and secured the tube to his forehead in the position I wanted. Next, I took some nose and scar wax to put around the tube and blend it into his forehead. Of course, I'm putting a little bit of mineral oil on my fingers to help work with that nose and scar wax. If you don't, it just sticks to your fingers and what have you. And for this, I'm only really worried about the sides and the bottom, knowing that I'll be doing the rest in post. Once I had what I needed there, I added some makeup to blend the color of the skin with the nose and scar wax together. And yes, this looks terrible, but we are only trying to get something that will allow us to do the rest of our blending and post, and now we are ready to shoot. In the ungodly heat, which made working with that makeup a whole lot harder, we shot the blood burst from his head, and doing that portion was crazy simple. I just filled that syringe with some blood, this blood, in this adorable little bottle I also got off Amazon for $10. I filled the syringe, then connected it to the tube attached to Justin, and then on cue, I pushed down to launch the blood out the other end in the pattern that I wanted, which was just these little bursts of blood. And this went on soaking Justin until we had what we needed. After that, we flipped around to get the other side of the coverage that we needed and then covered Josh in blood too. For that, we just basically did the exact same thing. We just taped the tube onto a stand so we could aim it perfectly to abuse Josh as much as possible. And that was it for the shoot. We utilized practical elements that we knew we would be augmenting later with visual effects. So now we take a quick break and then do some augmenting. And now for a my I'm leaving. Oh my god. Oh, 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 Yes! Yes! 
If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, innovator, Domain.com is the place to go when that next idea hits you. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you're taking the first steps in creating an identity for your vision, brand, or idea. The world's top two premier and most recognizable domain extensions are .com and .net, which means those are the ones that are going to help you build your brand and expand your presence online the best. And for a limited time from now until August 31st, you can get 35% off by using the coupon code FILMJUMBO. When you get domain names, web hosting, and email, just use the coupon code. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Logo. We shot our scene, we got it all up in our system, so now I'll take that shot into After Effects and save out of frame before the blood pops. Then I'm going to take that still image into Photoshop so we can create a clean plate. Inside here, all I need to do is select an area I want to get rid of, go to Edit, then Fill, and choose Content Aware, and boom! What? I'll do this a few times and I have my clean plate. It's like magic. Ta-da! Now I save and bring that image back into After Effects and put it on top of my main footage, then hide it for now. Next, I track my footage, so I go over to the tracking panel, select track motion, we want position and rotation, set your tracker over the two points you want to track and click track forward. Then we're gonna create a null and apply this tracking data to that. After that, we go to the frame that we use to take our still image and then mask in our clean plate that we created, like so. Have you ever tasted your own blood? It's not bad. <laughs> Then we parent that to our null layer, then go to the frame right at the blood pop, and we keyframe our mask path to change and open up to the wound and blood squirting out. To lead to the pop, we added a few frames that would show the wound starting to open up so it didn't just feel like it suddenly appeared magically. Then later on, once the blood was really pouring down his face, it was even easier to hide since we just needed to worry about that one side and the top. But what really sells all of this is the practical side of it. The blood is really there, interacting with Justin exactly how it should. All we did in post was to hide the strings of the effect, so it was mostly just cleanup work and post. And it's that marriage of practical and digital that equal the best end result. One without the other really wouldn't get us there 100%. Not without a budget, anyway. I'm totally tops. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that stayed. <laughs> and I already have a bunch of ideas on how we could use this effect in different ways, especially if you get even thinner tubing than what we had here. There really are a lot of applications to this one simple concept, so give it some thought and see what you can come up with using the same approach that we did to make your own magic. Ta-da! Well, that's it for today. Check the notes below for links to all the things that we used in today's episode. And if you haven't done it, make sure you subscribe and click that bell so that you can be notified when we put up new videos. And I'll see you next week when I wake up butt naked and bald in a tub of goo. I passed out one time in math class just over a nosebleed, so I'm holding on pretty good right now. <laughs>